The goal of this project is to try to understand oyster behavior and how oyster behavior is affected by various environmental stressors. And so what we're trying to do here is instead of you know, going out and measuring oysters maybe once per week or once per year even, we wanted something that was more real time. And so what we're doing is we're attaching these sensors to these oysters. Basically, the sensors on each side of the oyster measures their gaping behavior. And their gaping behavior is really important because that's how oysters breathe and consume food as well. That tells us something about how much they're eating, how stressed they are, what conditions might be um, affecting them the most. This is really important for both farmers, but also those who work on restoration. Oyster farming is a growing industry in New Hampshire, and in order to continue that growth, there needs to be real-time knowledge of what's going on with the health of these animals. Having this biosensor network can really allow for actions to be taken to decrease mortality and increase growth in this industry. Not only can these sensors give us an idea of what is going on with the oysters themselves, it can turn the oysters into biosensors and allow us to understand what the quality of the water that's surrounding the oyster is. These animals also provide ecosystem services such as filtering water to improve local water quality and creating reefs, which are important habitat for other animals and can stabilize shorelines. 